Yeah, we get three on each side. There's another bench here if anybody needs to sit down, okay? Can everybody gather it nice and close? It's either Vincent or Victor. Sure. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Massachusetts National Cemetery. On behalf of the cemetery, I would like to ex express our condolences to you and your family. I would also like to extend an open invitation to visiting the cemetery as we are open seven days a week, sunrise to sunset, and our office is available Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4.30 if you ever do have any questions or inquiries. With that said, we're going to begin the service with the military honors. Detail, attention.
President of the United States, United States Navy, and a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a simple appreciation of your loved ones, honorable and faithful service. It's an honor to be here, man. My condolences. Dear friends, our brother Robert Vincent has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our brother. Together may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears again in glory. We read in sacred scripture, Come, blessed of my Father, says the Lord, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even that claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our brother may sleep here in peace until you awaken him to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. Then he will see you face to face, and in your light will see light, and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever. Because God has chosen to call our brother Robert Vincent from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth, for we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory, for he is risen, the firstborn of the dead. So let us commend our brother to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day. For our brother, Robert Vincent, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ who said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even in death, and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Robert and dry the tears of those who weep. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. We pray to you, O Lord. You raise the dead to life. Give to our brother eternal life. We pray to you, O Lord. You promise paradise to the repentant thief. Bring Robert Vincent to the joys of heaven. We pray to you, O Lord. Our brother was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give him fellowship with all your saints. We pray to you, O Lord. He was nourished with your body and blood. Grant him a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. We pray to you, O Lord. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Robert. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We pray to you, O Lord. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us commend ourselves to the love and protection of the Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Almighty God, through the death of your Son on the cross, you destroyed our death. Through his rest in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you. And through his rising again, you restored us to eternal life. God of the living and the dead, accept our prayers for those who have died in Christ, and are buried with him in the hope of rising again. Since they were true to your name on earth, let them praise you forever in the joy of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowing, and you are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace.
Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and abide with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you, Father. This concludes the services for Bob today. His burial will take place after we exit the cemetery. But everybody's invited back to uh, Quashton Valley Country Club with Old Bonstable Road in Mashby, which is right near the funeral home and where the church is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see 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 you. I'll see